What's going on guys, Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. I'm at the right booth and I'm with a guy you know, Ed O'Reilly over here. He's always doing stuff hey. on Facebook. He's always out there just, you know, he plays it cool. Just having fun. You know, he doesn't like to go hard on his machines or anything, he just plays it cool. Slow pace, but they got a new machine and we're gonna talk about it guys. Yeah, he's one of our dealers. So here we have the Standard B. It's a new series of uh, stand-on mowers. Everything we've built this up until this point has been a heavy commercial machine. That's where we came from as a landscape company. But over the years, we've come to see that there's more and more people getting into this industry that are looking for something that's a little bit more affordable. So this machine has a one-year commercial warranty. It's priced around $5,200 um, with a FS engine, 52-inch deck. So, it, you know, it runs feels, drives just like a typical right stander, um, but everything's toned down just a little bit to get this price almost 30% down. Uh, it's central fuel tank. Uh, everything in here is more simple because we have transmissions instead of a pump and motor system. So that's helping bring the cost down and keeping the reliability up. So we're really excited to be bringing this out. Uh, I think that there's a lot of people getting into this business or looking for a backup mower, and this is the perfect machine for them. All right, so just walking around the machine, we have the quad lever controls. So this is your forwards, this is your backwards. Most people making a turn aren't going to use the front levers, but if you're going to go backwards or back up a ramp or something, you're going to use these levers. Layout's the same, easy to get to everything. This is the parking brake, and that parking brake actually positively locks out the controls, so you can't drive with the brake on. And it also avoids that issue where the engine's cutting out because you did the things in the wrong order. You don't have that, that going on. And we have on this side the deck height adjust. Very easy to use, very easy to read. All of our other stand on mowers, the engine floats with the deck because of how the belt drive works. This machine, it is a little bit of a compromise in that the belt has to angle down when the deck goes through its range. Um, but to get to this price, that's something we had to do. It's something we had to do in order to use the integrated transmission. So let me show you what's going on there. Take the shield off. This is the Hydrogear 3100 transmission, and uh, we have a one-year commercial warranty on it. You see the gas tank is central. Everything is really clean and simple uh, inside here. It looks like it's a very easy machine to maintain and work on. That's the point. Yeah. Especially in this class of machine, a lot of people want to work on their own stuff, so you got to make it easy to easy to get to, and it's a lot of stuff to go to wear out. The harness has all sealed switches and connectors. That's something you're going to see really on only high-end commercial stuff, but we decided just to use the same harness we use in the Standard X on this machine to uh, keep everything reliable. People hate electrical issues, like more than anything else, because it's like chasing ghosts. So, um, suspension platform, pretty typical. Is your machine. suspension platform adjustable in any way? Yes, we can move the, the springs around in there to make it softer and harder. It's not on the fly, but it's still pretty easy to do. We've got the battery on this side. The deck is the same airflow as our AeroCore deck, but in order to keep the cost down, this material is 11 gauge laminated with another piece of 11 gauge, and we have more of a standard type spindle rather than the heavy sealed commercial spindle. Um, so a couple changes in the deck, but the same airflow, the same cutter blades, that kind of thing. On the front, we moved from a flat free tire to an air tire. Um, uh, bushings instead of ball bearings. We do have all just things you did to this mower to get the price down yes. for that guy who's not running 80 properties a week. Exactly. You're just kind of doing it after work or you're doing it on the right. weekend. Yep. So a lot of people might be like, oh, it's got air tires, I don't like this. But you got to remember what this machine is for. It's $5,200. It so is a commercial, commercial mower you're getting for $5,200. And if you're mowing 20 properties a week, this is going to be a great entry into lawn and landscape if you're mowing grass. That's why those things are that way and that's how they're getting the price down. For you. One of the things I like to compare it to is that uh, if, if somebody's, you have to look at our ZK as like a F550, the standard X is like an F250, standard intensity is like an F150. This is like a Ford Ranger. It could pull a trailer, but this is not what you want to do if you're doing daily commercial work. Right. But you'll get cash flow going, you'll get a client base going, and you're at that one to two years, and, and this is ideal for you. So there you go guys, there's Ed Wright, and that is the Standard B we're talking about, a brand new product coming out this year, and it's basically, he decided to build a mower for you guys that some would consider the weekend warrior or part-timer like I was, working a full-time job, 
after work doing 30 properties a week. This is a great price. I had an Encore standard. Yeah. Right? I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. I hate. I hated that mower with a passion. It was the worst built machine. But for that price, you know what it did? It made me money. Got you going. $3,300. Yep. For two grand more, I could have got this. And guess what? Been a lot more effective, a lot more efficient, and not knees aching and just yep. beat up at the end of the day. Yep. So finding a commercial grade standard at entry level for this price, that's a, that's a home run. Yeah, that's, that's a good price. Work out well for us. Availability will be kind of mid spring. Right. So I think we expect a few shortages, but right. we'll get it going. So you'll see him around. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Make sure you go check out Ed Wright, man. He's on Facebook. He's always on there to talk to you when he gets a chance. And we'll see you guys in the Thanks, next Andy. one.